Hi everyone, it's the English Sinner here and welcome back to another cooking video here on my channel which is something I never thought I would say when I began a Sims gaming channel. Yet here we are, we are making spooky cookies which is actually a cooking skill level 2 in the game so I feel like this is more on my level, I feel like we're good to go. I am using a certain recipe and for this recipe you will need 250 grams of unsalted butter 250 grams of caster sugar, two free range eggs, a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I do have all the ingredients down here, but there's a lot of them, so I'm not going to pick each and every one up. You need 500 grams of plain flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, Halloween themed cookie cutters, which I have bought specifically for this occasion. In the game, we have pumpkins, we have bats, and we have ghosts. The bats on these are actually way smaller than I intended them to be, um, but hopefully we'll get some good looking bats out of it. And then I do also have some ready to roll icing for the topping, but we're not gonna do the icing just yet. We're gonna make the actual biscuits themselves first. Okay guys, so the first step of this recipe, I will leave the recipe that I am using down below because it's gonna explain it better than I ever could. What we need to do is tip our 250 grams of butter into here, which I'm just gonna get off with a spoon. So we've tipped our butter in and then I should not be wearing black when I'm doing this. I'm wearing black overalls or dungarees as we like to call them here and this is not the way to do it. I feel like wearing black was a stupid idea and I've only just remembered to turn my GoPro on so you can see my hands doing things down here. Uh, but what we have is the butter and the flour. I am going to be looking down at my phone a lot because I don't know how to bake so I'm going to be reading the instructions. So we need to beat these together in a large bowl, preferably using an electric mixer. Can we talk about this? Look how old this thing is. I'm fairly sure this thing is older than me. It was like my great great grandma's or something like that. I'm surprised it still even works, but hey, that's old technology for you. It's incredible. I can't believe it's actually still working, but I am wearing black, so I'm hoping this doesn't go everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this or beat it all together. Is this a beater? I don't know, but that's what we're gonna use it for. Also, do I start it in the mixture or out of the mixture? I think I start it in. I'm hoping this doesn't go terribly wrong. You can tell that we don't bake very often because one, we don't have that much stuff, like baking trays and stuff, and also we don't have like proper measuring things, but I'm using an actual teaspoon, so I'm hoping that like half is like this much, perhaps? I don't know if that's too much or too little. I mean, it doesn't look a lot. It's only a little bit of vanilla, you know, getting that flavor in there. Flavor, flavor. Might be too spicy for me, guys. I don't know. I'm pretty vanilla when it comes to my tastes. <laughs> right, there we go. There's our vanilla. What else do we need? We need to crack the two eggs, which, lol. Let's see if Molly can do this without getting anything, like any shell in here. I kind of want to move you out of the way a little bit. Right. Ooh, I haven't cracked an egg in forever. I don't think we got any shell in there, which is good for me. I'm just gonna throw you down there, buddy. And then there's definitely two eggs in here. I'm so like pedantic. Yes, two free range eggs. I highly encourage you to use free range. These are actually from my granddad's neighbor. Um, he has chickens, so they are very free range. Um, he's really good at looking after his chickens. So we know exactly Oh, I got a little bit of shell in there. Uh-oh. Oh, well. It actually might just be part of the egg. I don't know. I feel like it was probably shell. <laughs> you guys can't see it in the GoPro, but I can. So hopefully nobody gets that bit. So I'm going to continue to beat these. And then we'll need to sift together the flour and the baking powder. And then stir it into the mixture. 
and work it with our hands basically so that's gonna be a fun time all right guys so i've kind of mixed everything together right now and i think i should start using my hands on this bad boy which is gonna get a little bit weird it's time to get a little bit mucky oh this is so sticky this literally reminds me of being a child and baking with my grandma this is actually a really sticky mixture not gonna lie i'm hoping the bbc have not lied to me i'm fairly sure yeah this is off the bbc it wouldn't be the first time the bbc has ever lied to me this is a really sticky mixture i don't know whether i'm supposed to add more flour or what like look at how sticky this is like do you guys see that like my hands are stuck together it didn't even fall out of my hand that's how sticky it is it did say to uh, oh yeah the dough will be quite wet oh it does say that when the realization of do we even have a rolling pin in this house sets in i don't think we do i've tried to look for one and i cannot find a rolling pin anywhere however what we do have is a bottle of chocolate liqueur which is gonna act as my rolling pin i've given this a wash it's years old anyway so no one's ever gonna drink it um and that's what happens when people think that you've turned into an alcoholic in university they get you chocolate liqueur that you're never gonna drink but maybe it can use as a rolling pin in the future it's always gonna come in handy so guys i've got my cookie cutters at the ready like i said we've got a pumpkin we've got a bat and we have a ghost because they're the ones that are available in the sims 4 and i'm just gonna like get them around in the uh in the flour a little bit and we're gonna start cutting these cookies which i'm very excited about i literally feel like a child again I'm gonna creep it real with you. I do not think these cookies are gonna be very beautiful. I pulled the first batch out of the oven. This is our pumpkin cookie. He looks a little bit underdone, but then some of them look like they're overdone. So the next thing on the list is to ice these guys. So I have an orange fondant icing for the pumpkins. I have a white fondant icing for the ghosts. And I also have a purple fondant icing because that's what the bat cookies in the sims 4 are and then i have some black for like the outlines and stuff and i have some green for the top of the pumpkins and then as i was going into tesco i found these little edible eyes which are so cute i don't actually know if they'll fit on our cookies now um but i feel like they're really really cute addition so i kind of just wanted to buy them we'll test them on a few anyway and see how they look but yeah i don't know how these cookies are gonna turn out i also made the ghost cookies some extra ghoul friends so they're not lonely this halloween i am stressed you guys can you tell i mean who knew that these bats were gonna be such fiddly little things these flying mofos are the hardest things to stick on and like they're super oh man they're just tiny and fiddly and i can't do it to save my life i've been trying and trying i'm stressed my dad's gonna come home in like 20 minutes and he's gonna walk in to this fresh hell in the kitchen and be like who killed someone in here what have you done guys this video do not try this at home or if you do do it in the comfort of your own time and don't try and record a video about it all right guys so we are slowly getting there i've done the bats i feel like they were the worst things the pumpkins are also done but like i said i am stressed if this is only a skill level two or a level three sims team I want to know whether if anybody's watching from the sims team which I hope you are because my blood sweat and tears have gone into these cookies okay if 
You guys get people to make these recipes before you put them in the game, then these are definitely not a two or a three. I mean, these are a two or a three when bats can fly. I know bats can already fly, but it's just ridiculous because this is not level two. I thought I was a baking level two and these boys have ruined me. What I have learned about myself in this video, I severely lack the tools needed for baking. I've sellotaped this together. This is ratchet baking at its finest, but we're gonna try and give these ghosts some eyes. I don't know if this is gonna look good or bad, we're gonna try it. I mean, the nozzle's too big for one, so I literally have to like dab these eyes on or else. Oh, he's got a wing. He's got winged eyeliner. He's a gothic ghost. I like it. Oh, it's all coming out too much. Too much, too much, too much too soon. That's what she said. Too much too soon. Ah. This has been a disaster, but I feel as if it's also been a learning curve for me, you know? We all have these videos at some point in our YouTube career where we decide that was definitely not the path for me. And this, this is mine. This is what you're seeing right now, guys. I should just stick to playing The Sims and not make baking videos, you know? Everyone they tell us not to stick to the status quo, you know. Don't stay in your own lane. There's so much bigger opportunities out there. No. My comfort zone is The Sims and I am so far out of it right now. I feel like I've had my midlife crisis in this video. <laughs> oh my goodness. These aren't- oh, I just ruined that one. I was about to say these ones aren't half bad and then this one now looks like he has a black eye. So here we have our really nice plump pumpkins, or plumpkins I guess you could say, and the sims team have kind of done like an arch, I don't know if this is gonna work, like an arch for this eye, oh no this is not coming out the way I wanted it to, come on icing, this icing is too messy, this one's gonna be a messy pumpkin, but that's fine, he represents me, you know? the English mess right now. That's what I've decided to call myself after this video. So there's his eyes, kind of, I suppose, if you want to call them eyes. And then let's do his mouth. His mouth is good! Oh my goodness, I'm actually proud of something that I've done today. Okay, his mouth is great. His eyes, not so much. Do you guys see this? He looks like a happy little pumpkin. He's got some sticky up bits, but that's fine. You know, everybody has their flaws. I feel like I should do another down bit. I'm about to ruin him. He was looking good. And there we go. I messed him up. Oh, he had a great jawline as well. And then I just went and added, just tried to add on another thing. Okay, so he is not half bad. I should probably try and put some green on like the top for his little, uh, his little bit of grass, his little haircut where he's been chopped off from all his family. You know, that's the reality of pumpkins. When you take them off the stalk, you're really just stealing a parent. <laughs> and we're gonna put a little bit of green on here for his little top. And then I'm gonna just try and move this around. Come on, icing. Do you wanna play ball? Do you wanna play ball for me or not? It looks like Trump. Why does this look like Trump? Seriously. Tell me that isn't the Donald Trump of pumpkins. Look at his hair.
Okay guys, I can breathe. We have now finished with the spooky cookies. As I said, whoever in the Sims team decided that this was a level two in the cooking skill, it's so not. I don't know whether you guys tested it or not, but if you did, that was not a level two. Let me tell you, I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video because I feel like it's gonna be quite choppy, but I hope you guys enjoyed it all the same. I would say that we we uh, kind of look like a child has made these cookies, but they're not as much as a failure that I thought they would be. These two are my favourites, the little two shocked pumpkins. I absolutely love them. <laughs> they are so cute. I feel like one negative was that my cookie cutters were fairly small, so I thought I would have a bigger workspace. I have 22 cookies there and I've still got about three quarters left in the fridge so it makes a lot of cookies if they are this size I mean I'm probably gonna throw it away because I don't think I can get through about 42 cookies and I don't think my heart can take any more stress of making these guys but I think they turned out pretty well I'm not gonna lie I'm not that scorned by them. I would even go as far as to say they look bootiful. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was entertaining even if I did lose my head a little bit in the center of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I know a lot of you have been requesting the zombie cake, but quite honestly, if these guys brought me this much stress, I don't think I would be able to handle the spooky zombie cake. Like, Sims team, you have outdone yourselves. I will, however, link a very, very good video that I watched the other day for the Sims 4 zombie cake. It looks incredible. So I will leave that down below. I don't think I'm gonna do the zombie cake, unfortunately, because like I said, I don't think my heart can take it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you wanna have a hand at making these, then I will leave the recipe down below that I followed. And if you do make any form of spoopy cookies, then definitely send them to me on Twitter. I would love to see your recreations of either the Sims 4 spooky stuff cookie or anything else that you make for the Halloween occasion. Now, I'm gonna go turn into a vampire and take a bite out of one of these cookies. <laughs>